Hello everyone. Welcome to a good plate. I'm going to share with you a idli recipe with a easy soak and quick grind idli batter. Take a large container. Take 4 cups of idli rice. The measuring cup I use today is the electric rice cooker cup. 1 cup of whole urad dal or minapappu. 1 cup of poha or atukulu or flattened rice. Half a cup of sagubiyam or sabudana. Add water and rinse once or thrice. Drain the water. Add around 2 liters of water or enough to cover the ingredients at least 2 to 3 inches above. Soak for at least 6 hours. It is time to grind. I am grinding after 7 hours of soaking. Save around 4 cups of water and drain the rest. We will use the saved water for grinding the batter. To the wet grinder, add 1 cup of water. Turn on the wet grinder, add the soaked and drained ingredients. While adding the idli batter ingredients, add a cup of water so that the grinding stones do not get stuck. After adding all the soaked and drained ingredients to the grinder, add one more cup of water. Cover with a lid and grind for 30 minutes. Scrape the sides once or twice during grinding. If the batter looks thick and the grinder is struggling, then add around 1 fourth cup of water. After 30 minutes of grinding, add 2 teaspoons of sea salt. Grind for a few seconds for the salt to combine with the batter. Stop the grinder. Batter is ground to smooth texture. Transfer the batter to a large container. Add about 1 fourth cup of water to the grinder to remove any remaining batter and add this to the batter container. Combine everything well using your hand or with a ladle. The batter consistency should be thicker than the dosa batter. Detailed written recipe is in the description box below. Cover with the lid and leave it on the counter. Let it ferment overnight or until the batter has risen. Fermentation time varies. It depends on the temperature of the room. The batter has fermented and is ready to make idlis. Heat water in a vessel to steam the idlis. Around 2-3 to three cups of water, put on medium flame. Cover the vessel with a lid. While the water is getting heated, let's grease the idli plates with ghee or oil. Do not stir the batter. Scoop the batter and fill in the plates. Refrigerate the remaining batter and use within 5 days. The remaining batter can be used to make idlis one more time or can be used to make dosas or uttapam. Water is ready. Stack the plates in the way it's shown in the video. Holes on the above plate should align with the batter in the plate below. Place the idli plates in the water steaming vessel. Cover with the lid. Steam for 7 minutes on medium flame. After 7 minutes, turn off the flame. Let it rest for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, open the lid and let it rest for 2 minutes. Dip the idli scooper in water each time before you scoop out the idli. This helps in neat scooping of the idli. Serve the idlis with podi and ghee sambar chutney or for the kids sugar and ghee if you like the recipe please like share and subscribe to the a good plate youtube channel thank you for watching happy cooking